Here we go with chapter three, lesson one, divisibility rules. Uh, basically what this lesson entails is looking at a number and decide, deciding whether or not I can divide by, whether it's divisible by a number. What I mean by divisible is it comes out even. And when I say even, there's no fraction left over. So I know a number is divisible by two if it's even. And how do I tell if a number is even? Well, I look at the last digit, eight, six, four, zero, two. Uh, that's how I know it's even. So if the number is even, it's divisible by two. A uh, number is divisible by three if the sum of the digits is divisible by three. If we look at these examples, <coughs> 258, two plus five plus eight is 15. 15 is divisible by three. Three plus five plus four is 12. That's divisible by eight. 152,298, add those up, you get 27. That's divisible by three. Um, rule for four, the last two numbers are divisible by four. Uh, this one's a little tricky. You may have to do some of the work uh, in your head here, um, but if not, if, if, if you can figure out the pattern, uh, and we'll talk about the patterns when you later, <coughs> uh, but if you, if you can tell the pattern with the last two digits, you, you'll be good to go. Uh, and then five, if it ends in a zero or five, pretty straightforward there. Okay. Six, if the number is divisible by both two and three. So when we, we, when we make our list, well, if you see a two and a three, you've got to have a six. Um, there's no seven. The rule for seven is just easier to divide uh, than than it is to figure out the than it is to do the rule. The rule for eight, uh, the rule for eight is actually the last three numbers are divisible by uh, eight, which again is some. It's probably just easier to divide by. Uh, the rule for nine and the rule for three are very similar. If the sum of the digits is divisible by nine, so if I add them up and I get a multiple of nine, and that number is divisible by nine. Now what you could do here in this number, 9,657,261, if I add three and six together and get nine, that one, then I know that 9,657,261 is divisible by nine. And 10 has to end in a zero. Doesn't end in a zero, not divisible by 10. So let's practice. Now, when I do this, always start with where's the best place to start the beginning well where's the beginning I'm gonna start with two because here it, it asks divisible by two three four five six nine or ten now remember the rule for two if I forgot that's fine I could just go back in the notes and look is it even 54 is an even number okay what is five plus four I'm just gonna make a little nine right here just to remind you so it is divisible by three is it divisible by four it is not divisible by 4. Okay, it's not. How do I know? Because 48, 12 times uh, 4 is 48, plus another 4 more is 52, then I have 56. So it is not divisible by 4. How about 5? Nope, it doesn't end in a 0 or 5. What's the rule for 6? Oh, there's a 2 and a 3 in here. Gotta have a 6. Don't worry about 7, don't worry about 8. How about 9? Oh, the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. So 54 is divisible by 9. So 54 is divisible by 2, 3, 6, and 9. Whew. All right, on to 57. Or, I'm sorry, 675. Is it divisible by 2? No. Now this brings up a good point. 657 is an odd number. So do I? So when I find an odd number, I don't need to mess with 2, 4, 6, and or 10. Why? Because when I count by even numbers, I only, 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 only ever say even numbers. Yes, you can take a minute and count in your head by twos and fours and sixes. You don't say any odd numbers. Okay. So, three. Oh, I gotta add them up. Six plus seven is 13. 13 and five is 18. I'm gonna write it right up here just so I remember. So it is divisible by three. How about five? Oh, it ends in a five, so it's divisible by five. How about nine? Oop, the sum of the digits is a multiple of nine, so it's also divisible by nine. Okay, 842, well, I know it's divisible by two because it's an even number. I've gotta add them up to see if it's divisible by three, so that's 12, 13, 14. 14 is not divisible by three. How about four? Nope, because the last two numbers aren't divisible by four. Five, nope, six, Nope, because there's not a 2 and a 3. 9, no. 10, no. Well, the only number divisible by is 2 that we see here. 
right? Now, so go ahead and pause the video and uh, you try 1,896 and 605. Here we go. <coughs> 1,896 it is an even number, so I know it's divisible by 2. Um, uh, if I add them up, I get 24, so I know 24 is divisible by 3. 96, the last two digits, are divisible by 4. And then not a 5, 6, yes. And then 10, or 9, no, because it's 24, and then 10, no, because it ends in 6. 605, uh, it's an odd number, so I didn't mess with the even numbers. Uh, if I add them up, I get 11, uh, so that only leaves me with 5. So again, when you're doing your bell work tomorrow at school, start with 2. Start with 2 and then work your way through. Now, is it a crime to look at your notes? Absolutely not. Look at your notes when you're doing this, okay? because chances are you're not going to memorize them in 20 minutes. So look at your notes. Go rule by rule, one bite at a time. That's how again, that's how we eat an elephant, one bite at a time. So take it one bite at a time here. Do the two, then do the three, then the four, then the five, then the six, then the nine, then the ten. Take this one step at a time, and it'll be much easier to take care of. Okay? So good luck and see you tomorrow at school.